has a 17 on Rotten Tomatoes. That doesn't sound right. But she got paid. Yeah, that's and that is all that matters. That matters. Literally <laughs> all that matters. Uh, speaking of getting paid. Uh, I don't know what we're doing with this. <laughs> I just figured, I mean, we couldn't. We, we can always not release it. Sure. We can't <laughs> retroactively. We can't retroactively release it. So uh, I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is So I'm Watching Drag Race. Sort of. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, it was like a bonus episode, weirdly, in the middle of the season. Yeah, I don't totally get I it. I didn't hate the information. I've been saying, if one thing is true, it's that we need to spend a little bit more time with these girls. Just getting to know them. <laughs> I and mean, not the actual competition. Uh, <laughs> it's incorrect. Uh, it's weird to have it placed in the middle of the season. I, I feel like. I mean, we've said every time that we've only seen a handful of seasons. Yeah. So is this commonplace for Drag Race? Let us know. Uh, I know that the the reunions are a yeah. thing. And I could even, like, I could see this being at the end of the show or part of, like, the reunion and this, like a double whammy. Sure. Yeah, at the end, I can see that. You're right. Smack in the middle doesn't feel like the place for this. I'm starting to feel like Marjorie <laughs> in The Sept in Game of Thrones, where I'm like, RuPaul <laughs> understands the consequences of her absence, <laughs> and yet she's yeah. absent anyway. I'm like, what does she know? What is she? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are we prolonging here? <laughs> I don't know. It is It is sort of weird. I'm with you too, though. It's like, I liked the information that we got. It's kind of nice. They explained the coronavirus to us. Yeah. <laughs> I needed a crash course. I had gotten that a little was, rusty. And also, God love all of them, but they were like, and then I realized it could affect me. <laughs> And I was like, so, you know, yeah, you know, in the first act, anything from the first act of 10 Things I Hate About You with Larissa Olnick and Gabrielle Union, mm, that's that's sure. the vibe of this, sure. of this show sure. is those two girls just sort of musing. See, there's a difference between like and love because I like my Skechers, but I love my Prada backpack. But I love my Skechers. That's because you don't have a Prada backpack. That vibe yeah. for, for an hour. Oh, God. Um, yeah, it was just, it was a real lot of, like, just, oh, God. It flapping. Can, can this happen to me? <laughs> <laughs> Coronavirus in my gay self? And in it's my just vagina? Like, yeah. What did yeah, Ro man. What did Rosé say? That she Rose was said kind of a lot. <laughs> I think I'm a, I think I'm a, a closet rosé closet. Oh, I'm I think I'm a straightforward rosé stan. Yeah, I'm open. I'm open about it. Well, she's just got that like, it, it's the perfect tightrope balance between like catty bitch and mm. like sincere ingenue. Sure, 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 sure. She said something about she got back together with her boyfriend after they separated during coronavirus, and then she was like, "You wouldn't believe how pregnant I am." <laughs> It's so much information. It really is. <laughs> she basically was like, he stays coming in my ass. <laughs> is what that... <laughs> I imagined. I mean, of course. I gathered that was what was happening. <laughs> but the, <laughs> the confirmation was something oh, man. special. Uh, I man. forgot how much I miss Joey. Yeah. I feel like we but. Graze, graze the, the surface tip of the of, iceberg <laughs> of Joey's whole what he has to offer. I brought a DVD player and porn, and it's good. I wish that we could have just kept like Joey J and La La Ree, yeah, and just like put him like Statler and Waldorf on yeah. the balcony. Yeah, um, that would have been hilarious. I'm not surprised with the the queens that encountered that. I'm not surprised the Candy Muse was the first <laughs> <laughs> to get it. Uh, Olivia had it, I guess, and yeah. to me, I, Tamisha, whew, Tamisha, solid is, as a rock. <laughs> Tamisha is owed a break by our Lord Almighty. I would like to request that. I feel on like her at, the, at the end of the road, it's going to be my my grant, my pop pop, and Tamisha Amon yeah. are going to be <laughs> the two the left standing. Two. <laughs> if we get into like a stand situation, yeah, no, it was just great seeing them. Utica was was cute uh the 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 again the behind 
the scene stuff was was cool. I, I didn't realize how much bigger the set was. Yeah. Uh, because obviously I realized the queens were in the workroom for Untucked, which I actually hated. Like, I oh. hate with the... I don't know. It, it, I like the distinction, and sure. I love... I am... I mean... <sighs> It's probably easier to disinfect that way. I'm also, yeah. I, well, no, they had to expand. The, the 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 set is only so no, big. No, I know, but then they only have to, like, do one room. It's, like, probably faster. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm a theater kid, so I love the backstage mm-hmm. behind the scene. And I, well, because I told you I watched seven, season seven, and Untucked for season seven, and it's a bit more uh, guerrilla mm-hmm. filmmaking. It's a bit more um, okay. gritty. And... <laughs> The, like, workroom and the runway are, you have to go outside. Okay. And that's, I was like, oof, that's, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's LA, so it's usually sunny. Yeah. But still, it's like, they have to, like, it's like a labyrinth to get to. Wow. But, um, no, I just, I liked the distinction and the behind the scenes stuff and all that. And uh, the judges thing, th- that makes sense. At least they're fun, like, Lonnie Love and Nicole Byer are, yeah. like, fun judges to have. But it's not the revolving panel. Like it is unfortunate, especially like coming off of last year, we had so many good ones, like including AOC and stuff. It was mm-hmm. like it was really cool. And it's I mean, it's still cool. They're cool people, but we did completely forget to mention Anne Hathaway at, oh, yeah. at, at all last week. It was very and good. I I said while we were watching it, I was like, I would count that as meeting Anne Hathaway. And you were like totally yeah. and then Olivia was like I met her. <laughs> She looked in my eyes and said my name. I met her and I was well, like, because there was also that one I forgot who tweeted it, but somebody tweeted they were like, leave it to Anne Hathaway to give the drag a- actionable drag advice, actionable drag advice, <laughs> like, like solid, yeah. like usable drag advice. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I just, it, it, it really was, this was dumb. It was very, this was dumb. There was so many of like the same slow mo shot of like Candy Muse taking off her mask and visor to like, talk in this interview and then all of them it was the same with all of them and i'm just like yeah dude we get it you're like i get it i the whole time i have believed they're being safe there's all kinds of footage already I, baked into the show of them being safe yeah i well I, I i'm and it's not even the special that i have issue with it's placement why yeah. why now why this and why now yeah. is where i'm sort of it either should have been like first or last mm-hmm. and that's that's sort of where i'm at and also all of the footage of them in the hotel rooms was that now or was that hap- as it was happening? I think it was as it was happening. Okay. I mean, they might have reenacted it because yeah. the show I mean, they obviously is a were, lot of smoke and mirrors. It, yeah, they obviously were just like putting it all on. And I'm just like, I get it. It's fine. I want like a drag race after hours where they get to like, <laughs> like the real world. Or, uh, <laughs> <laughs> they get to intermingle. And, uh, there was some interesting footage of them performing in their in their natural, natural habitat, habitat. In their that element. actually that was pretty cool we actually also saw a handful of like little snippets of audition tapes which was also pretty cool and a couple of like we when they gone. got the call hi i'm denali nice to meet you we should have had like masks oh and, like <laughs> we should have done even... a dramatic mask yeah i didn't deal. even think about it but yeah so um i don't know i'm just this, trying to keep our yeah Radar streak. Yeah, this was fine, and it was weird, and it's over now. Yeah. So, I guess maybe there will be a new episode next yeah. week. <laughs> I'm gonna have some beer and watch YouTube, I suppose. Yeah, let's do it. Bye.